Maria, aka Couch Potato Turned Runner. And today she is gonna show us three easy beginner tips to get you started in running. Let's do it. Maria, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, so I am 35 years old. I am a mom of two daughters, an 11 year old and a nine year old. Um, I'm, I've been living in Miami, Florida my entire life. I was born in New York though, but I've lived here my entire life, so I am a Miamian, not from Florida. Um, I started running about two years ago, almost three, um, just to be healthier, not only physically, but mentally. And yeah, and it's been a journey ever since, and it's been the best journey that I can think of. Ups and downs, it's been awesome. And one thing, tell us about your bling. Oh, this? You mean this? Oh, yeah. I just, you know, <laughs> I didn't know if, if it's uh, appropriate to wear it outside of Disney, but I don't care. <laughs> um, last weekend, I participated in Disney's Wine and Dine, which was the, a 5K, a 10K, and a half marathon. And this is the challenge medal that you get for running the 10K and the half marathon. Oh, and you had such cute outfits. I'm going to make sure to include them okay. here. <laughs> So Maria, what is the first tip you'd give to runners that want to start running like me? The first tip that I would tell you is to stretch before and after. Because trust me, as you get older, like I said, I'm 35, things start to hurt. So the best thing to do is to stretch. So you stretch out your, you stretch out your calves. Yeah. And you do 30 seconds on each side. up our shoulders kind of get a little bit moving and you know you warm up and you, you need the right bra and you need the right bra <laughs> the second tip you give uh second tip would be to hydrate and obviously i didn't bring any water with me oh. but yeah important always stay hydrated because when you run you sweat when you sweat you're losing a lot of your internal water so the best thing to do is to always hydrate if you run a mile you know, just drink another eight ounces of water. Just keep, keep, you know, stay hydrated because it'll help with to avoid cramps. It'll help to keep your energy flow going. You know, so all that's important. I have a question: Does clothing um, affect your running? Like, should you wear like no cotton or? Oh yeah, best thing to wear would be uh, moisture wicking material for your tops because uh, yeah, you don't want to wear cotton and then. It weighs you down. Cotton absorbs a lot of the moisture, so then you're just gonna feel heavier as you keep on running and sweating. You'll so, be dragging yourself. <laughs> yep. And also, you know, a lot of people you'll see uh, that they'll run in just bras and shorts. And, you know, less clothes usually means better. What would you say is the third tip you'd give to a beginning a beginner runner? Have fun and look cute while you do it. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna be an elite runner. I will be a back of the pack runner. That means that I run like 15 minute miles, but I have fun doing it and I do it for myself. I'm not doing it for anybody else. So, might as well just enjoy it and look cute. You already do. So yeah, basically those are my three tips on how I like to stay in the running community. And you know, it's, it's fun for me. It's a blessing for my family because obviously, you know, they'll get a better side of me. <laughs> Not the angry mama. <laughs> and how can, if somebody wants to follow your running adventure, how can they follow you? What's your Instagram? My Instagram is at couch potato turned runner. Um, and I also have a blog that on the, we're working on it. But it's called learningasirun.com. So it's a work in progress. Yeah, well, if you like this video and you want to see more of Maria and more tips of running, reach out to her or comment below and make sure you like and subscribe. To my channel for more content and we will see you soon. Alright, come on, let's go. Let's go. Come in, come in, come on. <laughs>